Hello and welcome to Open Logic. This is System Verilog in 5 minutes. In this video, we'll continue on function and task, concentrating on argument direction. And this is a simple task example. The task has an argument A, and it simply prints out the value of A. And this is writing the same task in a complete form. What we left out previously is that the argument has a direction like a module part. This is unique in system Verilog. Compared to common software definition of a subroutine, they don't have direction for an argument. An argument direction is by default input. Specifying it as input or leaving it empty is the same. In addition, the direction can be output or in out. Now let's take a look at the behavior of an input argument. This is a simple task with an input argument A. The task increments the value of A at a separate timing. Outside the task, there is a variable B. And now let's walk through this step by step. At this point, B is created and its value is default 0. At this point, it is assigned to 1. And at this point, the task is called and B is passed as an input argument. Also at this point, argument A is created and at first, A is defaulted to 0. But A being an input argument, it takes the value from B and becomes 1. At this point, A is incremented to 2, and at this point, A is incremented to 3. And finally, at this point, the task ends, and the final value of A is 3. One thing to notice is that regardless of how A is changing within the task, B is not affected at all. This is a typical passing by value example. The color variable simply passes the value into the argument and is never affected by the argument. Now let's move to output argument. This is the same code as before, the only difference is that the argument direction is output. The flow behavior is the same until the task is called. Similarly, A is created and its default value is 0, but because it is an output argument, it ignores the value from B and retains its default 0. At this point, A is incremented to 1, and at this point, A is incremented to 2. Now at this point, the task ends. Since A is an output argument, its value now is passed to the color variable B, and as a result, B is 2 at the end. Now let's move to in-out argument. You might have guessed, basically, in terms of behavior, it's a combination between the input and output argument. In the beginning is the same, B is created and defaulted to 0, and then B is assigned to 1, and then the task is called, and the value of B is passed to the argument A. A is then incremented to 2, and then incremented to 3, and then the task ends, passing back the final value of A to B. One thing to note is that, despite A and B are sharing the same starting and final value, the intermediate value of A2 at this point is not known to the caller variable B. And the previous three examples are passing argument by value. Now let's take a look at passing argument by reference. The keyword is ref. If we go down the code step by step, B is created and defaulted to 0, B is assigned to 1, task is called and B is passed as a reference argument. As such argument A is the same as B. A is incremented to 2 and B follows the same. A is incremented to 3 and B follows the same. Finally, the task ends. The only difference between this and the in-out example is that B knows every single change in the argument A. This is a function example with a return value. Remember that task does not support a return value. Now with output arguments, task can achieve the same fit as function. As a matter of fact, you can have multiple output arguments as compared to one return value of a function. Having said that, function can have output arguments too. Since we are talking about a return value, here's a side topic. There are two ways to return a value. First is the return keyword. The second one is by using the function name. And generally, the function name also serves as a return variable. The code here works just the same as the return keyword. In summary, a function or task argument can have direction. It can be input, output, or in-out argument. By default, it is input. It can also be passed as a reference argument. Alright, that's it for this time around. Thanks for watching. Do support by clicking like, share, and subscribe.